Welcome to this video. In this video, I would like to talk about the most important transactions in IDOC processing, especially the top 10 transactions for IDOC. So EDI in general stands for Electronic Data Interchange and IDOC for Intermediate Documents. With IDOC or EDA, you have the ability to exchange information electronically, directly, between two systems and watch definitely till the end because at the end I would like to give you an overview of the most important IDOC transactions. So let's get started first of all with the top 10 transactions for IDOC. So first of all I would like to show you the transaction IDOC. If you type in this transaction code with the command field then you will end up in here and you definitely should know this transaction code because within here you have I think the most important reports so check and repair programs especially for IDOC and EDI so here you can yeah, call different check programs you can call different repair programs repair segments and also some transport uh, programs for transport and for every option you on the right you have a documentation so once you click there you will see what basically this report does and a maybe what you should be aware of executing so if you would like to execute one of those programs then you just simply have to select the option and after that call the execute button uh, you should definitely be aware of this really really great transaction and then we move over to the WLF underscore IDOC transaction because within here you will have a lot of great functionalities for selecting IDOCs. This is basically an IDOC monitor for optimized enhancement of the standard SAP IDOC reporting we see in a couple of seconds. So possibly the WE02, WE05 and BD87. So within here you have a bunch of different selection criteria, selection method. You should definitely be aware of this great transaction. And then move over to the WE02 as mentioned because within here you have the ability to basically search for IDOCs within the system. Uh, with special or with some selection criteria. Over to the WE19 transaction because within here, especially if you are developing uh, IDOX, then you have a great report for test tool for the IDOC processing. And then move over to the WE20 because within here you can maintain the partner profiles. Then we have the WE21 transaction. Within here, you can maintain the ports for the IDOC processing. Then we have the WE30 transaction. Within here, you can develop the IDOC types. So based on basic type or some extensions. Then we have the WE31 transaction. Within here, you can develop IDOC segments. Then let's move over to the W44 transaction. Within here, you can basically maintain the partner types. Uh, keep in mind that this maintenance view is cross client, so it's basically available for every client in SAP system. Then we have the WE82 transaction. Uh, again, keep in mind this is cross client. Within here, you can maintain the output types and assignment to IDOC types. Also, cross client. 
And as mentioned at the beginning, now I would like to show you a little trick how you can get an overview of the most important iDoc transactions. And to do this, first of all, I go to the start screen and within here you are using an area menu and that's WEDI. Uh, you have to be careful to, to be in the start menu. So once you are in any transaction, um, you can't call a area menu. But within here, you have to type in WEDI, hit the enter key, and then within here, you will get an overview of the most important IDOC transactions in SAP ERP and SAP S4 HANA. And within here, um, yeah, all the important transactions are grouped into different categories. And with double click, basically, you can call one transaction. And this is really great. By the way, if for you the transaction code is not shown, at the beginning under extras settings you can display also the technical name at the beginning and with control F you can start the search within this menu tree and if you would like to analyze this area menu more closely you can also open up the transaction SE 43N and then type in WEDI open and display mode and then for example yeah, you can open and display some additional information what you like to again with control f uh, you can search within the structure and so on so you should definitely um, notice transaction and maybe you can also uh, set it up as a start transaction in a user profile and the SU3 transaction, what do you like to? Yeah, and Fox, uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions left, put them in the comment section. Or if you would like to have an own video about one single transaction, put us also in the comment section. And please support my work, support this channel by subscribing this YouTube channel and also to not miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and then see you in the next video.